I'm overjoyed to be here tonight to help celebrate the launch of my good friend Syed's book. Um, I believe, and, and again, as Syed said, you know, I don't speak a word of Urdu, so I, I just believe that from what I heard and the cadence and the few pieces that I was able to pick up, that a lot of the distinguished speakers here today talked about the themes of the book. Um, I wish I could do that, but there's no English translation yet. I certainly hope that one is forthcoming because I would absolutely love to read the creative output of my good friend. Um, Syed is not only my good friend, as he said, he's my colleague. We worked together. We began working on a project uh, as uh, contractors about five years ago. And uh, to talk just a little bit about what we do every day and to put a little romantic spin on it, I guess you'd say we are dream interpreters. Uh, people hand us dream journals that are full of half thoughts and nightmares and, and, and half-baked ideas. And it's our job to tell people what exactly these dream journals contain and what they mean and, and separate the fact from the fantasy. Uh, famously, uh, Sigmund Freud said that sometimes when you interpret a dream and you see a cigar, it's just a cigar. Uh, our job is to look at this stuff and find the cigars. Uh, technically, we're called business systems analysts, and what we get is requirements from our clients, turn them uh, into dry material that can be passed on to people to develop code and implement a system. Uh, and I think we're both probably pretty good at it because about a year after we started as contractors, the company hired us outright rather than taking a chance on us going elsewhere. Um, we, as, as part of what we do, like I say, we take these, these dreams, we turn them into dry facts, uh, being able to write simple declarative statements goes a long way to be doing that. So there is some art involved in taking that, turning it into something plain and understandable. Syed, of course, has that, but, but he goes further because he can go in exactly the opposite direction. He can take dry facts and weave beautiful stories out of them. Uh, he's a rather modest man at work. I don't know if that actually holds true throughout all of his relationships, but that's the way I found him. I knew him for about a year before he first hinted that as a, as a hobby, he sometimes does a little bit of creative writing. And it was maybe a year after that that he said, oh, one of my projects is about to be published. And then a little bit of time after that, oh, that thing I had published, it kind of won a little award, you know, back in Pakistan. Uh, turns out that that was like the equivalent of the National Book Award here in the United States. He's a very talented man. Like I say, I really, really wish that I were able to enjoy that creative output I'm really hoping that there will be English translations. I know that uh, being able to create international community is one of Syed's passions, and it's so much easier when we can en all enjoy the same works in our own language that helps bring us closer together. It would also be nice if Syed didn't have to work so hard Monday through Friday uh, I work Monday through Friday just like he does. I go home, fall asleep in front of the television. He writes novels. 
He writes short stories, he writes poetry, he writes television plays, film plays. He just does an incredible amount. I don't know how he's able to accomplish all of that. I'm in awe. Whenever I feel particularly good about some output that I've had at work, I remember Syed has not only done the same thing, he's done it in a second language. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if anybody else asked this of any of you, I'm going to ask all of you to go out right away, buy this book, buy a copy for your parents, buy a copy for your children, buy a copy for your friends, your neighbors, people you don't know randomly on the street. Make this a big, successful book so that Syed can spend much more time doing this creative work that he loves and less time looking for cigars. Thank you. Thank you.